This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Always, and I mean always, consult with a qualified healthcare professional prior to beginning any diet or exercise program or taking any dietary supplement. Uh, the content is for informational and educational purposes only. Now, let's get into the show. 
Again, tonight we're talking kidney health and Rena Dale. And to help unpack this information and joining me is none other than uh, kidney coach, Dad Vice TV, AKA kidney warrior, James Fabian. And so let me give James our uh, VIP intro. I mean, it's royalty having this guy on. We're talking about 140,000 YouTube subscribers. So he's definitely making an impact in the kidney community space on YouTube. So without further ado, kidney coach, Dad Vice TV kidney coach, James Fabian. Hey, doing great, Steve. So excited to be here talking about Renadale. Oh, absolutely. You got the new bottle as well with the new cap. Of course. I, I, I've been taking it about two years now. So when they switched over to the new bottle, which I actually like because it's thinner and it fits in my uh, refrigerator door easier, I got all these ones now. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So uh, I apologize because I didn't mention our other guest that's joining us tonight. Linda Crookshank uh, from Glendale, Arizona, who is a product user of Renadale, also has kidney disease and haven't even started dialysis. So she's here to share her testimony as well. But James, before we start talking about kidney health, like I said, you're a kidney coach. Uh, you've been dealing with this about three or four years. Yeah, this November will make it three years since I spent a week in the ICU and discovered that I had kidney failure. Wow. Wow. So being a um, kidney coach, what are some of the challenges uh, you see people with kidney disease struggle with when it comes to kidney health since doing your, uh, your podcast shows? Oh, well, the number one thing is diet. So many kidney warriors out there, and we are warriors because we're we're fighting to kick kidney disease to the curb and to get the most out of life. But diet seems to be the biggest challenge everyone has. When you go online, you go to the big dialysis centers, which have giant websites, lots of great information. They make it seem though like food is something to be afraid of, but it's not. So I work with a lot of renal dietitians, learned about nutrition and why it's the nutrition and portion control that really matters with diet. But diet is the, the number one problem. Number two is just education about kidney disease. Kidney disease isn't sexy. We're not on any of the commercials. Um, there's not giant fundraisers all the time for us. Uh, we're kind of... We get the back seat in the car. We're the redheaded stepchild and kidney disease impacts so many people and diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease. All those have a direct path to kidney disease. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you do what about several shows a week? I mean, you really be putting in work as, as, as many as I can. I just started a new job this week. So I've cut back for the next couple weeks. But I do a few shows a week right here from my house, from my office. Just turn on my computer, get the camera, pop up the green screen and go at it. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, James, um, what caused, well, let me go back. Our other guest was able to connect with us, and that was Melanie Noonan from New Jersey. So we're also going to bring her on as well. But, James, what caused your uh, kidney health, your kidney so, failure? I'm sorry. So in 2017, November 12th, I was in a very serious car accident. A driver in a, a big Ford ran an intersection, looking at her phone, 45 miles an hour, and slammed right into the driver's side of my car, totaling it. 
cause a lot of back pain. Even to this day, I still have some back issues. But as I was recovering, I used ibuprofen. I used it every day, not a lot of it. I was actually taking the kids dosage because we have little kids. We don't want any adult pills laying around in case they get into them. But I used ibuprofen every day for about a year. And it was almost a year to the day, November 18th, when I went to the ICU and my kidneys were shot. My blood pressure couldn't stay under control. I couldn't keep medication down. Um, it was just, it was not a good thing. So the, the use, long-term use of ibuprofen was the thing that pushed me over the edge to damage my kidneys. I like most people, I wasn't aware that you should check your kidneys. And as I'm getting older, I don't like to go to the doctor and get checked up. Um, so I hadn't had my kidneys checked in a long, long time. It wasn't anything I thought about. So chances are I most likely had kidney damage from earlier, just from living an unhealthy lifestyle. And my mom has kidney disease, so it runs in our family. And the use of the ibuprofen for a long period of time was the thing that pushed me over and got me to kidney failure. Wow. And so James, part of your recovery program, you happen to use this product, Rainadil, oh, yeah. uh, which I think is uh, totally, <laughs> totally underrated um, and not promoted enough because just like uh, medication that helps uh, bind phosphorus or helps bind the potassium in the stews and eliminate it. This product right here uh, does the same. It's a supplement, it's not prescribed, and it's a pre-probiotic that eats the toxins and the waste uh, from the guts and eliminate it out of stew. Is that correct, James? Yeah, and the way I like to explain it to people, this is a probiotic and there are probably hundreds of thousands of different probiotic formulas out there. You can go all over the place, you see different pills. Some of them are not refrigerated, so those things aren't living very long, but probiotics actually are a living, good, beneficial bacteria. And when we, when we consume it, we build up, we take Renadyl or a different probiotic, but Renadyl is specifically for kidney patients and it helps us with our challenges, it builds up the colony, it starts growing. And as we take fiber, and I use the Kibo fiber pills also, and I add a lot of fiber awesome. to my diet, that's like fuel for these things to keep growing and multiplying. And I like to think of them as like Pac-Man. I'm gonna go back into the 80s, okay? Okay. Uh, I was born in the 70s, so I grew up playing Pac-Man. But Renadil is like Pac-Man inside your intestine. So all those bad things that are our stomach broke down that normally are getting absorbed into our blood, then our kidneys have the job of filtering it all out. We got these little Pac-Mans in there, eating, eating some of it and gobbling it up. And then when you, <laughs> when you need to go number two, take a dump, woof, they fly out of there with that instead of getting all absorbed into your bloodstream and then putting a burden on your kidneys. Absolutely. So by reducing the burden on my kidneys, my kidneys are able to keep up with me better. So I'm eating healthier, I'm active, I'm keeping my gut health, you know, working for me, not just healthy, but having it actually work for me, almost like a little tiny mini dialysis machine sitting in there, <laughs> taking out some of the stuff and passing it out in your stool. Um, and it's just part of living healthy, helping me to avoid dialysis. And, and we didn't talk about what my GFR was when I went into the hospital with kidney failure. It was eight, zero, eight, not very high. And they wanted to put me on dialysis, but I begged the doctors and said, I need a chance. Let me try everything possible. Let me go out fighting. And we agreed. I got labs every single day in case I started to tank, I'd go right on dialysis, but I focused on living healthy, keeping my gut health healthy also, 
and was able to improve my overall health, which improved my labs. I'm now right on that border, stage three and four, but more importantly, see how much energy I have? I do not drink any caffeine. I just worked a long, long day, uh, you know, a strenuous day of work, and I still have tons of energy, and I have kidney failure. I feel great, wow. no symptoms at all. Wow, that's, that's awesome. And James, before we bring on our two guests, I'd just like to ask you, we, and you've seen it uh, online, all these different uh, cures for kidney disease, oh diet, uh, other supplements. Why do you think a supplement like Renadil is not getting the uh, response that it should get? Do you think patients are, uh, are lumping this in that same category of other um, herbs yeah. and I think there's Product. so many woo-woo out there, as Dr. Rosansky likes to call it. It's woo-woo. It's all this fake stuff. As a matter of fact, I saw a new video, one of the uh, channels that just pumps out one cure a week, practically, for kidney disease. Um, I think people are relating Renadil to the woo-woo, the stuff that doesn't work, stuff that just, only thing it does is empty your wallet and maybe even get you to dialysis quicker. But this is actually backed by a real company, real research, real scientists. And you can look at the reports. You can talk to your doctor. They can do the research if they're not familiar with Renadil. You can talk to dietitians, and that's who recommended it to me was a renal dietitian. Um, every single dietitian that I work with, I ask them, what do you think of Renadil? And they all are in support of it because it's not promising anything magical. It's it's bacteria that's good for you, that you're gonna sit in your gut, you're gonna grow it, and it's gonna consume some of the waste product so that it doesn't get absorbed into your blood and then become a burden to your kidneys. It makes sense the way it works. It's not some magic flower that they promise will repair or rebuild or grow another kidney in a week or something like that. No, there is actual science behind this. It's a real product. You can go to the website, you can learn about it. Now, one of the challenges with Renadil is, you know, it's when you get to the high end probiotics, they're refrigerated. And this is one of those ones that you need to refrigerate. And a lot of people may say, hey, James, I read about Renadil. I like it, but there's the Dollar Tree has probiotics for a dollar. Can't I just use those? All these probiotics are different. It's like comparing, and I, this is a bad comparison, but it's like comparing Coke to Mountain Dew. They're completely different. They're both sugar water. They're both bad for you. They're both sodas. That's what they have in common. But you are not gonna fool anyone who's trying to drink a Coke. They go to a, a cup and they're stuck into a straw and they get Mountain Dew. They're not gonna mistake that for Coke. They are so completely different. All those probiotics are all completely different. They do different things. They eat different stuff in your body that they that they live off of. And the, the bacteria, the strands that are in Renadil consume the things that are a problem to us with kidney disease. Absolutely. And so a lot of people, I mean, we, James, we did this show, maybe this is maybe our third time you and I, um, talking yeah, about maybe it. three or four times talking about this, just trying to get that information out there. And we know that kidney disease is caused by a host of uh, different uh, problems. But if you're in that stage one, uh, two, three, four, and even five, and you have no hope, I believe this particular product with lifestyle change, dietary change, and control of your medication can definitely be beneficial and um, staying off dialysis if you have, haven't even started. And if, if you have started dialysis, I think it could also be beneficial in helping you clear your KT over V along with uh, your dietary and uh, uh, exercise and everything else you need to do to make sure you're living a quality life on dialysis. So James, I want to bring on our two guests. Uh, we have Linda Crookshank from uh, Glendale, Arizona and Melanie Noonan 
from New Jersey. So let me give them the VIP welcome as well, James. I'm just fine. This is Linda. Hi, Miss Linda. Miss Melanie, are you there? Uh, she's you, muted. She may yeah. not realize she's muted. Uh, you're muted, Miss Linda. There she is. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. How are okay, you, Miss Linda? Good. I mean, Miss Melanie. I'm fine. Okay, you're on live. Uh, we're, we're doing the show, and thank you for joining us, both of you ladies. Um, we'll start with uh, Miss Linda first. Uh, before we start, Miss Linda, I'd just like to tell the audience uh, that we have two ladies that are live testimonies to using the product Renadel as well as James. So I'm not reading from uh, the pamphlet, the testimonies from pamphlets. We were able to get real people to hear real testimonies. Now, we'll start with you, Ms. Uh, Crookshank. Um, tell us uh, your experience with kidney disease and how Renadil was able to benefit you from staying off dialysis. Okay, well, um, I thought I was going to have to be on dialysis uh, or get a kidney transplant. I'll back up just a little bit. Uh, when I came to find out about my kidney disease, prior to that, this was all building like a cyclone. I was first diagnosed with Addison's disease, which means my adrenal glands didn't function at all, which then they, the only solution for it was for them to put me on high steroids. And when I say high, usually people are on maybe five milligrams a day. I was on 60 milligrams a day of steroids. And which is not good, but I was on that for about 10 years that way. And as um, uh, the other gentleman, I forgot his name, the other guy, not uh, James. James. Okay, as he was talking about uh, his uh, ibuprofen that he was taking, I went, Holy moly, I, I was taking 12 Advil a day, which not good. So I was on that for a long time too. So I'm sure that affected my kidneys. <laughs> when he said that, I, it rang a bell for me. So anyway, I went then for a while with, with the Addison's and then it threw me into uh, diabetes. My pancreas was, oh no, I went into li fatty liver. My, I had a colonoscopy and my uh, doctor said, do you know you have fatty liver? Never heard of it. She said, oh, don't worry about it. Well, I wish she wouldn't have said that because I wish I would have taken care of it right then and there, which, what, I was probably 50 when you have a colonoscopy, your first colonoscopy. So then I continued on, and that's when I got a diabetes. And the diabetes I had for a good 10 years, and I was on both metformin and insulin. And they keep pushing you up higher and higher and higher with the insulin. And... Uh, for me, all of a sudden, and of course, I was putting on weight like nobody's business. And I, I just kept ballooning up, and I, it wasn't from my eating. And I got to a point where I'm going, okay, this is ridiculous. I've tried everything, but I still was on all these drugs. And at the, that point, I got up to, I was on 14 drugs. So... <clears throat> My endocrinologist called me on a Friday night and said, Linda, um, I'm looking at your labs here and I'm, uh, I need to talk with you. Can you come in tomorrow on a Saturday? Well, it had to be kind of an emergency if it was on a Saturday. So I said, yeah. And I, at this time, I could barely walk. I could barely move. I could barely take my shower. It was, it was like pulling teeth. So I go in there and he says, Linda, you know, 
your levels right now, you are in kidney failure. And I, you know, that just, I didn't need that. So I said, um, he sent me to a nephrologist and the nephrologist took care of me. And so I got to the point where I was seeing five doctors once a month. That's a lot of doctors and it's, it was all consuming. And so, um, when I, at one point I said, this is crazy. And I saw a, a thing come through on my email, uh, from a holistic nutritionist and she owned two, uh, restaurants here. And I used to go there because she had this incredible healthy food with no gluten, no this, no that, no everything. And it was delicious. And so she wrote that she was doing a, a, um, a class on uh, diabetes. And I said to my husband, it's on a Saturday. I go, well, I think I know everything by now about diabetes, but heck, I just been one of these that has to keep learning, keep learning, keep pushing. And so I said, I want to go. So we went and it was an eye opener for me. And I, to cut the story short, I took a course from her for diabetes. And she told me when I started working with her, she goes, Linda, to be honest with you, you're already eating. I've been eating for the last 10 years or more the same way that she was going to tell me. She said, I could tweak a couple little things, but until you can get off the the, uh, medication, you're swimming upstream. So she gave me the courage, let's say, to get off all 14 medications. And I did this with my doctor's approval. So don't anybody just say, oh, I'm going to stop doing my my meds. I told each and every one of the doctors and they were all great. And they said the worst case thing, it would be that you'd have to go back on. So I said, okay. And then we try traded down uh, all my different things. And within, oh, I couldn't even tell you within six months, I was so much better. But within a little over a year, I lost 115 pounds. Wow. That's Woo-hoo, a whole nother, great for you. That's a whole nother body. That's a whole nother person. Okay. But it was just from being on all those drugs and one drug, you take one drug and they go, it causes something else here. And so you got to take that drug and so on and so forth. Well, all these drugs and the Advil, obviously, and a few other things, it just really did a number where my body couldn't filtrate all this crapola anymore in my body. And so I said, you know, I, I, I'm not going to go on dialysis. And so I called up my naturopathic doctor and I just told her on the phone what was going on because I wasn't even seeing her then. By that point, I had reached 65 at that time and I had to have a regular primary doctor. So she goes, okay, Linda, I know another naturopathic doctor who does, a spe- she specializes in kidney health. Go on her website. She gave, he gave me that information and just follow her protocol. And one of the things on the, and I don't remember the whole protocol, but there's two things that I've kept. And one is it said Renadel. Okay. I bought the Renadel. And the other one that I kept is melatonin. And I'm going, okay, I already take probiotics. So I don't, not quite understanding why I had to take that for kidneys at the time originally. And then I sleep fine, which I think melatonin is only for sleep, but it's not, it's for other things too. So I've, I've maintained the 20 milligrams of melatonin a night and my Renadel. I'm on maintenance now. And to, this is the best part for everybody out there that wants to know, does this really work? Well, it's really hard when you're taking supplements, even medicine sometimes, but supplements, let's say you take vitamin C, or you take vitamin D, which is very, very important. Um, you can't tell what's going on inside your body. I, no, I can't feel vitamin C or feel vitamin D or any of those types of supplements. And the same way I didn't feel Renadil. I mean, you can't tell all the probiotics and all the little bacteria running around in your microbiome. So I just did what I was told and went to the nephro- uh, nephrologist every month. And each time they take draw blood and you do your numbers. And so all of a sudden, my numbers started going up, up, up. I was happy. I mean, I just kept getting ecstatic every single time I went to the doctor. I'm like, oh, all right, wait, this is going, it was going up. And, and that was so much hope for me. 
And so then I went to the doctors and my numbers went down. And I went, what the, why did my numbers go down? So the doctor left the room for a minute and I was looking around the room and I saw some supplements, other supplements sitting around on, on his shelves. And I went, oh, I forgot to reorder. I went, when I ran out of my Renadil, you throw the bottle away and out of sight, out of mind, I didn't reorder, which was obviously stupid, but I just totally forgot. And it reminded me that I forgot and so the second I got home, I got on the phone, I ordered my Renadil, I started again. And by the time I went back the next month, now that only took a month, my numbers went right back up. So wow. I had proof that the Renadil works. It's something, you know, magically that goes on inside your body that you don't always get a chance to measure. But this was definitely a measure. And then I continued taking it. And the last time I, see, I never paid attention to that GFR, but I, I was 76, I, I think, whatever that is, if that's good or not. And then uh, for me, awesome. when, when I was told in the nephrologist's office, they always had one, two, three, four, and five. And of course, I was at failure at five. And I am at two now, and with my age, I'm I'm uh, what am I? I'm 74. So for my age as well, it's doing pretty good for as far as my kidney health is going. I also by doing my whole lifestyle. So once again, um, it isn't just all your pills or something. You have to do a combination of everything for your body. And I had been eating organic. I'm a big proponent of eating organic. So you're not putting uh, pesticides and GMOs and all this toxic sure. waste into your body to filter in the first place. So I had already been doing that, I'd say 10 years or something prior to when I got to here. So it wasn't that part, but I continued on do, doing different detoxes. I bought an infrared sauna, which helps to clean out your organs. It doesn't make you sweat like from... Um, like if you rode a bicycle, it's that's the outside sure. sweat. This is sweating on the inside in your organs and drawing all the the toxins out of your uh, organs. So I did a combination of many many things uh, in order to get myself up to this point. I'm still working on my pancreas. It's uh, being a little bit of stubborn, but uh, that's 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 my story basically. And sure. the other part too, which hit I. Uh, hit a button for me was you said you were in a car accident. Well, I've been in two biggies. The first one, I broke my neck, C2, Ooh. which you don't usually live or you're paralyzed. And that was the beginning of my downfall for everything else. Then the second one, I was in a head on collision and they had to pry me out of the car for that. So all of those things contributed as well to my overall spiraling of my health going out of going wacky. So it's been a long, long, long journey, but I think it's worth it. I think for people who are listening right now, who are just on the cusp of having to maybe decide to go on di dialysis or tr kidney transplant, this is definitely way better. So you have the opportunity to do that. And some of the people that may be on don't know anything about kidney health and they may feel pretty good right now, but they want to prevent and down the road. Well, you know, sometimes when you just want to prevent and you don't can't feel anything wrong with you, your motivation does, doesn't stay high for a long, long time. If you're in a lot of pain and discomfort and, you know, on the brink, that motivates you to keep on going no matter what. And um, that's basically how I've accomplished what I've accomplished is just to, I'm not saying I didn't have bad days, because there were a couple times where I was ready to, you know, call it quits because I was in so much pain. Sure. But I, it, I just, uh, <laughs> I, I just didn't know where the bullets were. <laughs> and right. that's the thing. 
But I, I'm just saying that if you are really uh, have a high goal, then you're going to stay motivated. And so that cookie or a piece of cake or French fries or something is just not going to look at you the same way back. You're just going to go, oh, that's just poison. Exit out. I, there's no way I'm putting that in my mouth. Let's and hear from Miss uh, Melanie. I don't mean to cut you off. Oh, we, no. I'm our sorry. time is kind of going down. But let me hear a little bit from Miss Melanie on her uh, her story with Rena Dale and Kidney Health. You there, uh, Miss Melanie? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because I, I have the thing on mute. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my story is I've been healthy all my life. Not like Linda. I didn't have all those you know, accidents and nasty stuff happening. Yeah. The only thing I knew that I had kidney disease was when I um, had no pain, had a blood test. Uh, this was 19, um, 2010. And my blood test showed that I had... Um, you know, the, a little bit of um, the decline in the kidney function, which was 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, and uh, this doctor sent me for an ultrasound because that, you know, I have always, my numbers were always good up till that point. So anyway, the ultrasound, they discovered I had a mass in my kidney, which I didn't think anything of it. I had no pain, nothing. I've never had pain, actually. Uh, and, uh, well, the ultrasound led to a um, MRI, which then confirmed there was um, renal cell carcinoma. Mm. The kidney was removed. And I it was my good kidney. <laughs> the one that was left was the diseased one. I mm. had 29% kidney function when this was in 2010. And I was you now just watching my, you know, lifestyle and everything. I, I exercise, I um, eat healthy and everything. And uh, it was fine. I mean, it declined from 29% to 20. Uh, and uh, that was so it took eight years to do that. So 2018, I started going into a free fall with my kidney. And uh, at that time, it was about 18, and then it declined down to, you know, it took a few years to do that. But in the last two years, it went to um, from 18 to 12. So <laughs> 12 is like failure. <laughs> So um, I've been on uh, Ranadil and then I just, I was just, you know, panicking. I looked on, on the internet for whatever I could find about kidney disease and what I should should be taking, what I'm taking that's not good for me or food that's not good for me. So I eliminated all that. I watched some of James' uh, advice. That's when I learned about uh, Ranadil. So I tried it. You know, keep to the kind of, kind of dietary things that he recommends, and uh, so I started on Ranadil nine months ago. So this was when my kidney was at twelve percent, and in t nine months, it increased to fifteen, which is borderline four and five, borderline four and five, and my um, uh, what's the other thing I. There's two things, the kidney function with EGFR and the, uh, remind me one of the, ever that. Other was it your BUN? Oh, did no, that no. improve? Uh, my what? Your BUN, did that improve also? B what? BUN. B, yeah, BUN. BUN? That was one of the ones that improved for me was the blood urea nitrogen level, which is oh, just BUN. more waste. Oh, BUN. Yeah. Well, um, that's about 55 which not, you know, it's, you know, close to what I, I was before. Uh, but the, um, the creatinine, creatinine, that's the name I said. <laughs> My um, creatinine uh, went from uh, 3.5 to 2.8 in nine months. So wow. that stuff is eating up my 
all that nitrous uh, stuff that's bad for you. <laughs> So that's the only thing that's different. I mean, I I have to watch my blood pressure. It's it, it went like when when I had you no know, kidney disease, my doctor was taking it, and it was like one seventy three over ninety something. And um, of course, I take four blood pressure medications along with a few other things that are not you know. Uh, but my um, if I keep my blood pressure. No, as stable. The last reading I had was uh, one twenty-seven over sixty-eight. Oh, that's great! Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, well, that's part of what Randall is doing, and part of what my four medications for blood pressure is doing. So, as long as that's you know, you know, stays stable, I can't expect too much more at my age. Um, seventy, almost seventy-nine. Um, the picture looks like that's a recent picture. But I, I should be a poster child for uh, this uh, plexiderm. That works too. You don't look seventy nine <laughs> in that picture. Wow. Well, when I put a plexiderm on it, it took my nipples away. Wow. So anyway, <laughs> it's a, it's temporary. The next day, it's it's the wrinkles are back again. <laughs> Right. Anyway, um, I wanted to look for the, for the camera. Sure. Um, James, let me ask you, mm -hmm. how does it feel when you hear someone say that they watched your show and that's like Miss Melanie saying she got Rena Dell from watching your show? Um, being from where you came from, you know, dealing with this disease now into advocacy. How does how does that make you feel when you hear it's, testimony? It's very like emotional. That? <laughs> you know, even though you know, there's so many people who watch the shows and I get a lot of messages and stuff. For me, I'm just sitting here in a room with some computers. You know, I got some screens in front of me and equipment. Um, especially with COVID the last two years, I really don't get to see people. So really it's like, wow, they those those things I see the comments it's from real people it kind of makes it more real when I hear things like that um, but I'm glad she found it and not all that woo woo stuff pushing the the fake cures and all those things um, hopefully you've listened to Dr Rosansky lots of great information especially for the adults that are um, you know more experienced in life that's what I like to say not older because I'm <laughs> I'm joining that older crowd. I'm trying to hold on to my youth as long as possible. Same here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but listening to him and Jen and all the other uh, renal dietitians that give such great information to help us better understand how the things we do and that we eat impact our health so that we can make better choices to delay the need for dialysis, to minimize or even like I have completely eliminate all of the symptoms of kidney disease. Um, when I was diagnosed, I was in bad, bad shape. I, vision was blurred from the high blood pressure. I had this cough that wouldn't end. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't keep anything down. I was freezing, yet I was sweating like crazy at night when I would fall asleep for just a short amount of time. I had every single symptom and no energy. My kidneys today are, if I got an ultrasound, they're just as shriveled, they're just as scarred as they were back then. But now, no symptoms because I'm living a healthier lifestyle. I'm keeping my body healthy and not overburdening it with trying to keep up with the bad diet. And even when I eat good food, if I can have my gut on my side helping to get rid of some of those toxins before they get absorbed in my bloodstream and become a problem for my kidneys, that helps me eliminate all these symptoms, have my energy back, and keep going, living life. And I got two little kids. My daughter turns 10 this month. They need their dad to have lots of energy to play with them to go to the park, to take them to King's Island and all those things. Oh, absolutely. James, uh, Kathy wants to know, uh, what fiber product did you say you take along oh. with the Arena deal? 
This is from Kibo uh, Biotech. It's it's from them. It's the called Kibo makers. Fortis. Same makers. So I originally started with the fiber powders, but let me tell you something. If you're still going to work, your your cube mates are not going to like you taking those powders because they, they make you very very gaseous and there's no getting used to it. With these pills right here, they're horse pills. Okay, so they are big. There's a lot of fiber packed into them. You take those and it works with the Renadil. It's it's a prebiotic and this is a probiotic. Um, think of it as food for that good bacteria so that it can grow and multiply. The more good bacteria we have in our gut, the better our gut health is gonna be and the less of that stuff, that bad stuff that's gonna get absorbed our bloodstream and then have our kidneys have to take care of it. Sure. Um Miss Linda, if I may ask you, so using Rena Deal has been very beneficial for you. More than beneficial. It it prevented me from having to have dialysis or a kidney transplant or anything else. And then it just when your liver and kidneys, which function of uh, filter everything, when those are functioning at their optimum then everything else functions fabulous and you have so much more energy. Before I couldn't even get out of bed and now I I can act like a normal person, <laughs> you know, because I've got energy and I can go, go, go. Uh, there's a few things I'm limited by my structural, by my bones, but, uh, but as far as anything, I can't explain the difference. You can talk to my friends, you can talk to my family, there was a gigantic change when I was able to not have to do those bad things that you have to do when your kidneys are shot. So sure. Renadil saved me from all of that. And I think it can save anybody who gives it a shot. You know, right. that's just my opinion. Right. But, how about you, Ms. Uh, Noonan? How long have you been taking the product Renadil now for? I'm on my third refill, nine, uh, nine months. Started oh, okay. at the beginning of the year, like Linda has been on it a whole lot of seven years. years. Seven years. Wow. Yeah. Seven years. Well, she, seven she years. had a lot of you know experience with it, so you know I'm sure it, her kidney function was not that good when she started, and then it increased in, I guess, a short time. It, it did right in the beginning. It did, and I kept on the regular dosage until. I don't know, maybe two, three years later, then I finally went on maintenance dosage. And so I, I would not be without, I wouldn't go anywhere without it. Right. So, so James, we have Bridget who said uh, she tried Rena Dale the first time. James was on Urban Health Outreach Media talking about Rena Dale. Then I asked my doctor, she gave me the okay to try it. And the outcome was amazing. Right. I would love to hear what the amazing outcome is. <laughs> yeah. And then, James, we got another testimony from your show. Thanks, James. I found out about Rena Dale from your show. Now, James, you mentioned, well, we have a comment here. I'm going to try it. I'll ask my doctor. Now, the last time you was on and you talked about when kidney warriors approached their position yes you told you kind of suggested a way that they should uh come across and ask their physician about this product can you repeat that again yeah so if you walk up to a doctor and you say hey doc i saw this ad or i saw a commercial or i saw a youtube video and it said to take before you even say that they are already saying no in their mind there is so much bad stuff out there. So you can't just walk up to your doctor and say, hey doc, I saw this supplement online. What you need to do is, I would recommend first going with a renal dietitian if you can, or when you visit your doctor say, hey, there's a renal dietitian that recommends this probiotic to help with my gut health. And it, it it's supposed to help kidney patients uh, not absorb as many of the toxins into our bloodstream and then our kidneys don't have to take care of as much stuff. They're not overburdened as badly. 
approach it that way. If you go with, I, I read a supplement online, I saw a video of a supplement, they're gonna say no. There are so many scams out there. They're not even gonna take the time to research it. Now you can also, if they ask which one is it, you can give them the website, rentadill.com, and they could do some research. Don't be too pushy. Ask them, what do they think? Will this, is there any harm in trying this probiotic for your gut health? And chances are, if they're not aware of it, they're gonna be more open to actually looking at it, learning about it, which will better educate them and drive awareness of this being available out there. Um, we don't want them to think that you, you found a cure. This is not a cure. This is not a fix. It is part of a healthy lifestyle. You need to be active, get your blood pressure under control, watch your blood sugar, eating right. And this helps you get your gut health in check so that it's working for you, not against you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, wow. I mean, that... You really said it, James. I mean, you really said it. Again, I think that uh, the product gets a, a bad rap because it's hard. They hardly ever promote it. However, I mean, it does big things, but it's little recognition. And that's one of the reasons why we're doing this show. So kidney warriors can know what's out there that's safe instead of trying these fly by night uh ingredients that can more than likely uh cause more damage and harm um so we got about 10 more minutes uh, yeah, someone asked say, if i could someone asked if i could spell the the kibo fortis let me see if i can hold it up to my camera let me see if i get it to focus oh there it's focusing there it is kibo fortis oh i have my green screen turned on <laughs> it's a partially green bottle but, but this right here, yeah, and, and, and I'm gonna open, I'm gonna show you guys. This is a brand new bottle. I got so many of them. I'm not gonna use my teeth to rip open the little paper from the top, <laughs> <laughs> which I normally do. But they are, these are large tablets. Uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Hold on one second. These are, these are large tablets, so if you do not like, it's hard to see it there, but you can kind of, you can tell the size. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't like these large ones, they do make it in a powder, and that's not the powder I was talking about earlier. I started out taking um, whatever that common powder is, bit of fiber. Um, that's how I started trying to get enough fiber in my diet. Fiber is is amazing in our diet. We want to make sure we get plenty of it. But if you're taking bit of fiber or something like that, gas is a major problem. And that's also a, a question people ask me a lot about Rinadil. They say. Does it cause gas or any upset stomach? They recommend take with a little bit of food. I did that in the beginning. And you might get a little gaseous for the first few days or week. Um, your body will get used to it and that'll go away and it, it won't be a problem. Wow. Thanks for that, James. Appreciate that. So before we close out, Miss uh, Noonan, what can you share with the audience uh, what words of advice can you share about this product that you want uh, the audience to know? Well, uh, when I learned about it, I um, I was skeptical, like anything else on the internet. Uh, but hey, I give it a, a shot, and you know, I it can't hurt. It can't hurt because it's a probiotic. I've had those before. Nothing happened. So uh, I wasn't expecting much from this. <laughs> but I was really amazed because immediately uh, my gut health improved. I had problems with constipation and that kind of thing. It's nasty stuff with, with my gut. I started taking Renadil and all of a sudden I have regularity. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's not, I don't, I'm able to, you know, pass out, you know, quickly. Sure. And uh, that's that's the thing that, that immediately um, I noticed. And the, the gradually the kidney health uh, improved. I was set for dialysis. I changed my, my doctor, my original nephrologist, um, 
be tired, so I found another one, but I'm looking for one with the dialysis center in my town. So <laughs> I picked the doctor <laughs> that runs the, uh, you know, my local dialysis center, fully expecting I'm going to go on dialysis because I, I mean, I've, I've had some of the other uh, things like uh, Cervelomer, which is uh, uh, generic of, um, I forget what it is, but anyway, that's uh, supposed to uh, phosphate binder. So, uh, I, and I stopped drinking soda, which has a lot of phosphates in it and things with preservatives. I just don't eat those anymore. Where right. I have nasty stuff. So, um, I you know, stay with a, a healthy diet, and uh, I have you know, energy. I mean, I walk a mile every day. I've always, I always have been. Never, I'm never tired. That's the thing. Tiredness is one of the symptoms of kidney disease. I was expecting to be that, you know, feeling blah, and I'm, I never did. And um, that's uh, you know, continuing. I don't know how long I'll be able to do this because of my age. I, uh, in fact, I should be dead. <laughs> with, okay. If I continue with the kidney disease, I would not be alive, or I'd be on dialysis three times a week, which I really didn't want to do. That I have better things to do with my life. So. Sure. Uh, the Vanadil is you now keeping me stable. I don't know how much how much more my numbers could improve. Uh, but they're good now, as well as good as they can be for my age. And it's I don't have to you know, worry about dialysis as long as I think I stay on Renadil. I might have some amazing things like Linda had happening in her body. Sure. And, uh, I just okay. recommend it. <laughs> awesome. Now, let me just answer this one question before we get to Miss Linda. Uh, Shamar... Uh, as is this good to take if you're already on dialysis? Uh, absolutely, it wouldn't hurt. And actually, if you uh, took this while you're on dialysis and watch uh, your diet as well, uh, it can help with your KT over V numbers and your clearance in that aspect. So yes, we had uh, someone on this show, when we first did the show, Arena Dale, that was on dialysis, uh, Don P. Edwards Mormon, who's doing home dialysis and was taking the product as well. So thanks for that question. Uh, Miss Linda, uh, before we go, uh, briefly share what you want uh, our audience to know about your experience with this product. And you're oh, muted, sorry. Linda. All right, there, there you, you go. go. Okay, I can understand people when if they're getting the information, let's say online, and being skeptical. I didn't have that experience. I was referred by a doctor, a naturopathic doctor, who who uh, recommended. So um, all I can say is take the different testimonies, keep researching if you choose to. But my goodness, what the heck do you have to lose? You don't have anything to lose, you know, except a bottle of Renadil. I mean, I'm sure you've taken other products that you've gone, ah, this, I don't think this is doing anything for me. But you will be surprised if you just be consistent, be consistent, don't forget it and take it one day and, oh, I forgot it two days later and blah, blah, blah. You take it the way it is uh, designed to, be, to work. And I'm telling you, you can have a guarantee from Linda Crookshank. I know it'll help your body in all kinds of great ways. So give it a shot. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Ms. Linda. Uh, one question I want to ask, just want to clarify. So uh, Shamar, you asked, so you don't need to take those binders if you are taking uh, the arena down. That's false. You, you definitely need to take your phosphorus binders or whatever binders, your vitamin D binders, which you're taking. Uh, Rena deal has nothing to do with uh, binding the phosphorus. We're talking about this product is a pre-probiotic that works in the gut. So definitely continue taking your binders. Uh, 
And then we had one more question. I am on dialysis for a year. Stage three, take arena deal has improved my kidney function and I'm feeling well. All right, that's awesome, James. We have more people, uh, testimony. I recognize Carol. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's awesome. That's somebody from uh, the watch your show as well, James? Oh yeah, she doesn't miss any of the shows. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And yes, you can take what uh, multiple vitamins as well. So ladies, uh, Miss Melanie Noonan and Miss Linda Crookshank, I want to thank you for taking the time out and coming on the show and talking about your experience uh, with kidney health in Renadale. I, I really appreciate you taking the time. It, it really helps shed light on uh, this underrated product, Renadale, and also uh, how underrated it is. So really appreciate you taking the time both of you ladies taking the time out and coming on. My pleasure. Okay, thank you. And Miss Melanie Noonan, thank you as well. It was a pleasure. All right, all right. It was thank great you. meeting you, Linda and Melanie. <laughs> you too. <laughs> all right, good night, ladies. Bye-bye. Uh, so James, oops, there we go. So Thank you pretty much. We're moving yeah. around. <laughs> yes. So so James, as we uh close the show, uh what words of advice that you want to leave with people watching the show pertaining to kidney health and, and Rena Dale? Make your health a priority. You are your best advocate for the best treatment. Work on staying active, eating right. Um, if, if you're wondering, should I take Renadil? Ask your doctor, those people making the, the woo woo, the fake cures, they're not going to tell you to go ask your doctor, talk to a renal dietitian. They're probably aware of this and know all about it and how it can be part of a healthy lifestyle to help you improve your quality of life. As I like to say, kick kidney disease to the curb. I, I was waiting for that to come. <laughs> Uh, hey, James, man, I, I really, I know you're a busy guy. You said you just started a, a new job. Congratulations. Oh, uh, thank congr you. Yeah, congratulations on 140,000 um, uh, subscribers on YouTube, man. That's very powerful, very powerful. And uh, continue to do what you do, man. I, I watch you all the time to try to get some uh, pointers and tips on attracting um uh, more people and more audience over our way as well to uh disseminate the information so i really appreciate i mean really do man everything that you do for uh the kidney community and again taking the time out and coming on steve the kidney nurse hey appreciate it any time for you steve you just let me know boom i'm there all right man thank you james i'll see you soon man thank you again <laughs> see ya all right have a good evening you too all right so guys, again, we talked about kidney health and Rena Dell. And again, I'm gonna read the FDA disclaimer. Uh, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Always, and I mean always, consult with a qualified healthcare professional prior to beginning any diet or exercise program or taking any dietary supplement. The content is for informational and educational purpose only. Again, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Rena Dell. I'd like to thank uh, my contact, Jesse Goldberg, for um, getting our testimonies together and having them be presented on this show. Again, okay. Joe Allen, you're at stage five. Okay. All right, guys. I want to thank uh, Joe Allen, McFarnight, Jared Brown of the Warriors Quest Show, Carol Michael, Kathy Prattis, Shamar Shea Wimbush. Um, who else was on here? Midwest Kidney Warriors, Uncle Jim, Betty Gutierrez, Bridget, um, everyone, David Pollock, Kathy, um, 
the other Miss Kathy Coomlin, James Faven, and again, I'd just like to thank Linda Crookshank and Melanie Noonan for coming on Steve the Kidney Nurse. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be on the lookout for more shows coming your way from Steve the Kidney Nurse. Have a good evening, good night, and God bless. Peace. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ I Now I gotta roll with ice. Cold these brothers, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ I Now I gotta roll with ice. Ride or die. 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 Cold these brothers, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ I Now I gotta ride or die. I'm liable to spark it Throw down these hits My click is indivisible I aim you duck I squeeze now you invisible I'm not afraid of getting physical All these different chemicals Are fogging up my visual Bloods on my hands Got slugs on my gunners Yo we notorious We ain't no runners Bloods on my hands Got slugs on my gunners Yo we some warriors They ain't caught gunners Bloods on my hands Got slugs on my gunners Bloods on my hands Got slugs on my gunners Put on my sweat, put on my pee, put on my mat, put on my team, take out every motherfucker in between. Know what I mean? Better myself, better my aim, better my breath, better my name. Killing rappers on my hang, I'm by the chains for the fame. Never thought I would, and now I'm running. You don't wanna follow me, I'm about to fucking run it.